Hey, it's Ollie from Flight Comp, and uh, today I have my JR28X on my desk, and I thought I'd show you um, some of the uh, features uh, of the radio. Um, right now, I think I'll just give you a look at the the home pages and uh, the way you can arrange some of the icons and widgets on the home page, and then I'll give you a quick look at the. Uh, the some of the the actual software in the radio. So here's a model that I already have set up. Um, you can see you can put a picture in the background, um, and I've arranged some of these widgets uh, to my liking. Um, in the middle here, I have uh, the flight mode widget, which displays uh, which flight mode that you're in, and uh, if you toggle some of the switches, you can see uh, the flight mode change and there's also a uh, voice alert which you can uh, disable if you'd like. Mode. Um, down here is a receiver voltage widget which is very big but it actually displays the information very small and I don't really like that. I think this is all just a waste of space with this dial and everything. I'd rather have just uh, an outline of a box with the actual receiver voltage written as big as possible. Um, over here you have transmitter uh, battery voltage and if you had the second battery uh, it would display the second battery voltage right here so you have battery A, battery B. And again this is kind of a big box but the actual information is is not displayed very very big so it, it's um, basically impossible to see this information um, although I think you can um, activate a voice uh, setting to actually give you uh, the information out loud if you like okay and then over here these four uh, squares or these four dials are the trim uh, widgets and I've actually arranged these how I like them and um, they kind of cor correlate with the layout of the trim tabs on the uh, transmitter itself. Um, they don't, these aren't on the uh, home page uh, when, you, when you start from scratch with the radio you have to drag these onto the home page and um, you can actually pick these up and move them um, anywhere you want Okay, so um, again, here are the, the trim widgets, and you can see this is where the actual information is displayed. So if I was to touch uh, or move my aileron trim tab, you can see that number change. And if you click on this, you can actually choose um, which function you want it to be. And that, that, that holds true for um, all these widgets, and I think you can import more than four as well. Um, I would rather these be um, maybe horizontal and vertical bars. Um, you know, it's, I think I think I think that's a very common layout for most radios, and something that most people would be familiar with and would be able to recognize at a quick glance, rather than uh, these arrangements here. Uh, you know, this this information is really small, and you really can't decipher it when you just glance at it. So anyway, there's the, the home page, and over here you have a, uh, a stick monitor, and you can um, monitor your throws. Landing. Cruise mode. So that's the stick monitor, and then if you drag the page over, um, you get a couple of more uh, pages. You get two more pages, um, and, you, and they're blank, and you can... Um, place um, more widgets here, telemetry widgets, or links to um, programming functions or subtrims, and you can group them together sort of in subfolders like this. Here's one that I've done. Um, I'll show you that again, click it once, you can see I have subtrim and travel adjustments and dual rates in there. And here's some mixes that I have grouped together, and then this I believe is model select. Uh, th yep, that's model select, and this is a uh, bind and range check. So we'll back out of that and let's go back to uh, the home page.
Okay, this button right here is the button you'd push to get into the actual um, programming and uh, software of the radio. So let's go ahead and click on this. And this is basically how the pages are laid out. And you can see you have a uh, function, system, other, and widgets. You get a few pages in function, a few pages in system, one page in the other, and a few pages in widgets. Um, the function pages are basic things like trim, subtrims, dual rate, exponential, differential, mixing, travel adjustments, server reversing, and things like that. Here are the uh, function pages. And then if you click on system, you get some more advanced things like channel set, um, flight mode settings, flight mode delays, model select, stick switches, uh, fail, fail safe, and uh, things like that. Over here you have Xbus settings, uh, wing type, uh, model type, you know, airplane, glider, helicopter, things like that. And then in the other page, you have your internet browser here. If you can get it to connect to the internet, you have some file, some system folders, a calculator, your downloads, picture gallery, and music. And uh, this settings is what controls your internet connection or your Wi-Fi connection. If you slide that on and click on this, it will show you um, what internet networks or what Wi-Fi networks are available to you. Anyway, let's back out of that. And then widgets. Um, most of these widgets are telemetry related and you can um, pick these up and drag them onto um, one of the pages, uh, I guess on a des desktop, desktop or home page. Um, you have a music playlist, a photo gallery, um, RPM, receiver voltage, temperature, transmitter voltage, variometer, and to make a lot of these uh, various telemetry features work, you'd have to have uh, actual sensors in your in your aircraft. So let's go back to the home page. <clears throat> Up here, you have your model name, and then uh, this little. Uh, doodle right here is to let you know it's a sailplane. Uh, this is the um, signal. Signal out and signal in. I don't have my airplane on so the signal in is red. Um, some battery icons here to let you know that you only have one battery plugged in. This would be blue also if you had two. Um, you can assign a picture to each model but the picture isn't displayed which which I think is strange because I know the the Futaba 18 um, displays the picture of the, the your model uh, on the desktop right here, so I think it would be cool if they had a widget for that, but but they don't. So anyway, there's a quick look at the basic layout of the radio and how the how the pages look. Um, I think the next thing we'll do is get into um, selecting a new model and um, maybe setting up some of the basic um, features you'd want for your new model, maybe starting with uh, flight mode. So, hope you enjoyed. Um, there's a quick look at the layout of the new JR28X.